first success? Well, my heart. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I am elk hunting for a spike elk in particular, and I had a very late start to my day. I went out last night and <laughs> didn't want to wake up when my alarm went off this morning, so I didn't. I slept in a little bit. I think I walked a mile and a half, and I'm resting. <laughs> I'm in an area that I haven't been in yet-ish. I'm like near an area that I've been, and I just am hunting a certain portion of it that I haven't hunted before. So I would say in that sense, it's probably good that I walked in in the light. I'm just trying to find a positive. The more that I climb and the higher I get and the more that I can see, <laughs> like the better I'm feeling. Those mountains, let me do that to you. snow on the ground. It's incredible that it's now November and I have been hunting big game since August. <laughs> big game hunting since August. That just blows my mind. I've had some really good solo hunts this year. I haven't killed any big game animals. It's been tough. But, um, we'll see. My freezer is so empty. I've been like collecting donations from <laughs> my friends <laughs> because I just haven't been able to get it done. I have been able to, you know, spend time out here and explore and, you know, do all the things that makes this fun for me, so that's what I like. So it feels good in that sense. It feels shitty that I have an empty freezer. That kind of felt like a gunshot. Mm. So forgive the lack of action. All you're gonna get is me. <laughs> me in this incredible place that I'm hunting. Where there just happened to be no freaking elk. It's a little setup I got going. Isn't it? It's just beautiful out here. It's just incredible. It's like. I don't understand. The cool thing is, this is public land. Everybody can come and sit on top of a mountain and be alone. It's a cool thing. I've been glassing for a couple hours at this point and there are no elk in sight, which is a bummer. This season has been really tough. Um, archery elk was so much fun. Like the last week, whenever I was understanding a little bit more of how to call and how to communicate with them, it's like I started talking with the elk, you know. <laughs> Thank you. 
and it was so much fun. Got really, really close. Um, and then deer has just been rough. Well, deer ended, but it was just rough. I think that this weather is going to be what ends my hunt. There's like a lot of things coming up, a little bit, I would say life got in the way a little bit of my deer season. And then now with this little spike tag, it's like I'm out here, but I just feel so crunched for time, and I messed up by not coming out earlier this morning, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> I still got tomorrow, so. Unfortunately, you don't have any more footage after what you guys just saw. So I just wanted to kind of sit down and give you guys a general wrap up of what happened. This will be short. There's going to be no more hunting footage in this video. So just forewarning you, but I'm out here um, shooting my bow. This will actually be appearing in another video, my next one, but I thought this was a good time to just like wrap up. So you will see me in this setting again, but anyways. So I ran up the mountain with just my GoPro. I left my other camera in the truck and of course my GoPro battery died. Basically, I had ran up the mountain and had gotten, I think I ranged them at 600 yards. That was the closest that I had gotten to them and I'm not comfortable shooting that far at all. So I popped into some timber and continued to climb to close the distance. And the next time that I popped out to check on them, they were gone. So I thought they went in the timber, maybe laid down. So I continued hiking up, hiking up, kept peeping out to look and they were never there. So the last I saw them was around 600 yards and I think they winded me. I did not even think of the wind whenever I first <laughs> started climbing. I basically wanted to intersect them. It's like they were moving across the mountain this way. So I started here whenever they were here and we were going to hopefully meet. That was the idea that I had in my head because there was plenty of cover for me. I didn't think about the wind at all. And it wasn't really blowing their direction, but it was blowing like directly up the mountain. So I think they winded me. I ran all around the mountain trying to like relocate them again and I just couldn't. It just didn't work out. But it was so exciting. Like when I started climbing that mountain, I was convinced that I was going to at least have the opportunity to take a shot at a spike. I felt like something was about to happen, but it didn't. So that ended that tag and that is what will conclude this video <laughs> i'm thinking about maybe doing a hunt recap video so if you want to see that comment below and i can kind of include bits of footage from all of my hunts this year and just give you know a little bit about the cool things that i experienced we'll see though if you if you guys even want to see that i don't know because it's going to be the same old story, lots of alley running through the mountains and not actually killing anything. But I do have some footage that I haven't put out there yet, so it'd kind of be like, you know, unseen footage from the adventures of alley climbing around the mountains. <laughs> I don't know. If you want to see it, you know what to do. But, but that is how that ended. Um, sucks that my freezer's still empty, but... You know, it's the way it goes sometimes. So, that is it, my friends. 
I'm going to finish shooting. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.